Hi, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. In Vietnam, there are Hmong Christians seeking instruction in the faith, but without anyone to teach them. Because it's a communist country, there is no Christian educational system, no professors or teachers with advanced Bible knowledge. But that's all changing, thanks to a remarkable series of events that only God could make happen. After the Vietnam War, many Hmong refugees came to America, including Boon Kio Lor, who studied for the ministry and became a pastor through the Wells Pastoral Studies Institute. Now a pastor in Kansas City, Reverend Lor posted his sermons on the internet, mainly for people in his local congregation. He had no idea that members of the Hmong Fellowship Church back in Vietnam were reading his sermons intently. They were thrilled to see, in their own language, a clear teaching of law and gospel and grace. The Hmong church body in Vietnam uh, appointed one of their leaders to search out to find somebody to come and give them training. Uh, they searched the internet, they found Pastor Lor's sermon uh, and read his sermons that were posted online and said, this is what we want. This is somebody who understands scripture clearly. Before long, Reverend Lor was in Vietnam on the first of several teaching trips. The Vietnamese government began to notice positive change in the leaders of the Hmong Fellowship Church. Wells received a very special privilege from the government, and we, you know, are the very first church in Vietnam that, you know, able to do legally, you know, training to the people uh, in that country. The Hmong leaders we're teaching here serve more than 100,000 Christians. Given the many decades in which they were without opportunities to grow their church or advance their education, they were especially eager for the theology training provided by Wells Missions. The hunger for the gospel is one that, that you can really, really see. When they found out that, that we had training available, uh, the excitement that you just hear from absolutely every one of those pastors the relationship grew as additional Wells leaders came here to teach courses. Or still cause people to think that they must work to earn God's love and His favor. Now, the government has offered Wells another first, the opportunity to build a Christian training facility in the capital city of Hanoi. The Vietnamese official said it best when he said, you know, you bring a peace to the Hmong people that we can't enforce on them, and that's through your gospel. All around the world, we have the opportunity uh, to see uh, the amazing ways that God's Word is working in this world where it seems completely impossible. Uh, and that's really, their church is an awesome example of how that's true. As with any mission, the future is never guaranteed, but God has given Wells a unique opportunity in Vietnam. Ahead of every other Christian church, we have the privileged first opportunity to reintroduce sound theological training to the Hmong Christians of Vietnam. It's worth noting an act of kindness that helped jumpstart this whole mission effort. On one Sunday decades ago, Boon Kio Lor walked into a Wells Church in America for the very first time. It was packed. Nowhere to sit. Then one longtime member got up and gave his seat to this newcomer. That simple act of Christian love left a deep impression on Boon Kio. And now, decades later, we can see how God multiplied that kindness a thousandfold in service to his kingdom. To learn more about Hmong outreach in Vietnam and how you can support this effort, visit wells.net slash missions.